moment to decide your fate. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. Chivalry 2 is a hyper-realistic medieval combat simulator. Don't know if I help. Hey, kill. No, you fucking idiot. Yeah! <laughs> big kill, big kill. Oh, look. Let's go. The mystery carts that move about horses. Actually, I take that back. In fact, let's just see what Google says. A multiplayer first person slasher inspired by epic medieval movie battles. I don't know what you want to call this, but all I can say is that it doesn't shy away from the gruesomeness of medieval combat. As horrific as it is though, it can be quite comical at times, be it from the interactable objects which are on each level, or just simply team killing when you really probably shouldn't have. Come on, I'm getting some more ammo soon. <laughs> Sometimes you go. Hashtag do it for the vine. Shivery 2 was released on the 8th of June 2021. It was developed using Unreal Engine 4, can host up to 64 players on a game mode, and better still, it was available on multiple platforms. But the main question is, where is this game now? What does the future hold for it? And is it worth playing in 2023? Oh, and whilst I've got your attention, I'm almost at 20k subs. I'm like a gnat's cock away. So if you want to help me out, feel free to subscribe. Let's begin. It may come as a surprise as to how long Shivery has been about for. The original Shivery was released back in October 2012 and was actually inspired by a Half-Life 2 mod called Age of Shivery. Shivery was the first official title to be released by Torn Banner Studios and they enjoyed quite a lot of success with this unique title. Fans would then have to wait 9 years for the follow up which was of course Shivery 2. Surprisingly though, it came to PC as an epic exclusive which didn't stop it from selling 1 million copies in the first couple of months. Despite the impressive sales figures, it did have a few issues upon launch. Do not spend $40 on this game right now. There are multiple problems, matchmaking problems, crossplay problems, fucking party problems. For a week, more than a week, I've not been able to play with my friends. Freaking threats! Which, as you can imagine, as a game which prides itself on its multiplayer, not being able to play with friends is kind of a fail. This caused player numbers to start to dwindle, and anyone still interested in the medieval combat genre to seek their fun elsewhere in the form of Mordhau. It didn't take long though for Shivery 2 to bounce back, with the announcement of it being released on Steam and it becoming an Xbox Game Pass exclusive, players soon flocked back to this title. But once again, this was short-lived, with players eventually fading away. So what was the problem with Shivery 2? What was the thing that was causing players to just give up? Fundamentally, the game wasn't bad and people enjoyed it. So what was causing players to just up and leave? Believe it or not, I'm a big fan of Shivery 2. I bought it on Xbox, I bought it on PC, and I've put hours into it. However, that being said, as fun as I find the gameplay, I don't find myself playing it for longer than a couple of hours at a time. Not to sound too harsh, but Shivery 2 is the toasty maker of the gaming world. Yes, you get out once and you end up using it for a whole week straight, and then you put it away and you never see it again for a couple of months until you eventually have that craving for another toasty. That one there was a violation, personally, I wouldn't have it. Leave a like if that analogy makes sense to you. It's the best I could come up with. As I said, the gameplay is fun and I can find it addictive at times. It's just the fact that there's a severe lack of content. That's not to say there hasn't been any content, it's just been very far and few between. To give an example, since release there's only been 4 additional weapons added into the game. Which when one of the main draws to this game is variety, 4 seems very lacking. In an effort to keep players engaged, they introduced a battle pass, and of course they have lots of customization you can do to your character. Personally speaking though, I think one of the biggest letdowns for the game is the fact they advertise crossplay, which in some capacity it does have. I remember once running into a friend on Xbox in a 64 player game, 
And this wasn't pre-arranged, it was just a chance encounter. I just recognized his Xbox gamer tag. And I couldn't invite him to a party afterwards. I couldn't interact with him. It was just a case of, oh, that's nice. We're in the same lobby, but that's all I can do. So if you actually want to organize a game with other friends on different platforms, it was a bit of a ball ache to be honest. This did eventually get slightly better though. With the introduction of custom servers, this gave players the ability to coordinate with their platform friends and organize their own matches. Which, as nice of a workaround as this was, it still doesn't alleviate the fact that there was no cross-platform party option. However, there is a shining light at the end of this tunnel, because believe it or not, they've now introduced it. Yes, you heard me right. After years of waiting, they are finally allowing cross-party play. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Everybody just calm down! It's safe to say this update is long overdue. And personally, I'm very excited by the idea of actually being able to party up with friends and not having to faff about in the custom servers. Not only this, they've also announced a new map, a new battle pass and of course a new weapon. There's no doubt that all of this is a positive change, it's a welcome change, it shows that the devs haven't given up on this game just yet. But the question still remains, is it too little too late? Are they too slow at getting out any major development? The last major update was back in November 2022, which is over 6 months ago. So in a fast paced game where players consume the content quite rapidly, should they expect to wait another 6 months for any other major updates? Let's be honest, if this game was opened up to the modern community, there would be a plethora of updates already. One thing I want to get across, despite my criticisms, I am a huge fan of this game. There's not many out there which does combat on this level. This game appeals to the sweaty 1vxers and also to the zerglings who don't know what they're doing and are just swinging a sword. The fact that it has such an arcade feel about it means it is appealing to a wider audience. But at a high rate as to which you consume the content of this game, it does leave you wanting more. I've been saying this for over a year now, if they took this gameplay and put it into an MMORPG, it would be the best MMORPG out there on the market. More Online 2, if you're listening, please just copy and paste this combat and put it into your game. But until someone does that, as much as I love Chivalry 2, it just leaves me wanting more from it. I do however think once the cross party play has been implemented, this game is definitely going to be worth playing. I just don't know how long for. But what are your thoughts? Am I being too critical? Is this game perfect in its current state? Or like me, do you think it just needs more? Feel free to comment below. But anyway, on that bombshell, I'll end the video. By all means, if you've liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. And I'll leave a couple of videos on the screen for you right now. And as always, a big thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. See you in the next one.